Hello. This video is part of the post-harvest management course for horticultural crops at the Department of Plant Biotechnology, Korea University. It has been created to help students better understand, review, and preview the course content. The narration of this video has been generated using AI based on the class materials I have prepared. Post-harvest management refers to all processes that occur after crops are harvested until they reach consumers. This includes various steps such as cleaning, sorting, grading, storage, packaging, and transportation. The core objective of these processes is to maintain the quality of agricultural products, minimize losses, and ultimately maximize the economic value of agricultural produce. For example, in the case of grapes, if the post-harvest packaging and storage conditions are not managed properly, losses can range from 20% to 40%. The importance of post-harvest management can be divided into three main aspects. First, it helps maintain the freshness and nutritional value of agricultural products. If post-harvest management is not performed properly, the quality of agricultural products deteriorates rapidly. Fresh vegetables and fruits, in particular, start losing nutrients and quality due to natural respiration right after being harvested. For instance, Broccoli is very sensitive to temperature and humidity. If it is not stored at the right temperature, not only does vitamin C decline rapidly, but cancer-fighting compounds such as glucosinolates also decrease. Second, about 14% of the world's food is lost due to poor post-harvest management. In developing countries, the loss rate is even higher. This is because environmental factors such as temperature, humidity, and handling conditions during storage and transportation are not properly managed. Reducing these losses is a critical task. Third, improving post-harvest management could generate an additional $100 billion in revenue annually. When the quality of agricultural products is improved and losses are reduced, more high quality products can be supplied to the market. This can be particularly beneficial for farmers in developing countries by introducing advanced management technologies. Lastly, post-harvest management helps reduce resource waste and lower greenhouse gas emissions. By reducing agricultural product losses through proper management, resources such as water, energy, and fertilizers can be used more efficiently, and methane gas emissions from decaying agricultural products can be minimized. Methane gas is 80 times more potent than carbon dioxide in causing the greenhouse effect making its reduction crucial for combating climate change. The economic benefits of post-harvest management are substantial. When done properly, the market competitiveness of agricultural products significantly increases, offering opportunities to obtain premium prices. Consumers are willing to pay higher prices for fresher and longer lasting products. By adopting high quality packaging systems, the freshness of agricultural products is maintained and damage is minimized, providing better quality products. This not only helps in maintaining product quality, but also plays a key role in building brand trust and strengthening market presence in the long term. For instance, in Kenya, post-harvest losses were reduced from 30% to 10% after introducing refrigerated storage. This is particularly important for countries like Kenya, which experience hot climates. In tropical climates, High temperatures and humidity can cause agricultural products to spoil rapidly, and cold storage technology is essential to prevent this. In India, the introduction of automated packaging systems reduced post-harvest losses for rice by 20%. This system reduces damage to crops through precise packaging and minimizes human errors that may occur during the packaging process. This is especially important for large-scale crops like rice where manual packaging errors can frequently lead to losses. As seen in the case of grains in India, post-harvest management is important for grains as well, but even more attention is required for horticultural crops. Horticultural crops are mostly consumed fresh and have high water content, making them prone to spoilage. Fresh fruits and vegetables can quickly lose nutrients and quality if not stored properly. In contrast, grains have low moisture content and are major sources of protein and fat, allowing for long-term storage stability. Horticultural crops are rich in vitamins and minerals, 
So careful management is needed to deliver them to consumers in a fresh and nutritious state. There are several factors that can affect the quality of post-harvest crops. Among them, temperature, relative humidity, modified and controlled atmospheres, reducing the negative effects of ethylene, post-harvest pathology, and post-harvest entomology are important. In this lecture, we will briefly summarize and study these factors. Temperature is one of the most influential factors in post-harvest crop quality. Temperature directly affects the respiration rate of crops, and the higher the respiration rate, the faster the crops deteriorate. Respiration occurs in the mitochondria, and the enzymes involved in the TCA cycle are temperature dependent. Therefore, controlling temperature is crucial for effectively managing respiration rates. Typically, for 10 degrees Celsius increase in temperature, the respiration rate tends to double. Cold storage reduces the respiration rate, playing a crucial role in maintaining freshness and extending the storage life of crops. For example, broccoli can be stored for over 20 days at zero degrees Celsius, but at room temperature, it spoils within three days. This demonstrates how proper temperature management is essential for maintaining crop quality and extending storage periods. Relative humidity is another crucial factor, just as important as temperature in post-harvest management. Relative humidity determines moisture loss and wilting in crops. Maintaining proper humidity is essential for preserving the freshness of post-harvest crops. High relative humidity reduces moisture evaporation, preventing wilting, but excessive humidity can promote the growth of mold and pathogens, accelerating spoilage. Conversely, low humidity can cause crops to dry out quickly, leading to quality degradation. For instance, leafy vegetables like lettuce need to be stored at relatively high humidity to prevent wilting, while root vegetables like sweet potatoes are prone to spoilage in high humidity, making proper humidity control essential. Recent studies have shown that humidity controlled packaging not only maintains the freshness of melons, but also reduces browning and spoilage. Modified atmosphere packaging, MAP, plays a crucial role in extending the storage life and maintaining the quality of crops by adjusting the gas composition during storage. This technology mainly involves reducing oxygen levels and increasing carbon dioxide levels, which helps lower respiration rates and maintain freshness for a longer time. For example, fruits like apples and pears can be stored fresh for extended periods through controlled atmospheres that suppress respiration activity. Controlled atmosphere, CA. Storage is a technology used in large-scale storage facilities to control the gas composition of the storage environment and preserve crops for extended periods. This technology lowers the oxygen level and increases the carbon dioxide level within the storage area, inhibiting the respiration and ripening processes of the crops. It is primarily used for fruits that require long-term storage, such as apples, pears, and citrus fruits, and it helps keep them fresh for long periods. CA storage is commonly used in large warehouses or cold storage units, allowing stable supply of agricultural products throughout the year according to demand. Additionally, CA technology is applied in containers where it effectively maintains the freshness of crops during long distance transport. By controlling the oxygen and carbon dioxide levels within the container, respiration rates are lowered, preserving quality during transportation. This technology is particularly useful for exports and long distance transportation of perishable fresh produce, such as bananas, grapes, and strawberries. Ethylene is an important plant hormone that promotes ripening, and it acts differently in climacteric and non-climacteric fruits. Climacteric fruits exhibit a sharp increase in respiration rate and continue to ripen after harvest due to ethylene. Examples of climacteric fruits include apples, bananas, and tomatoes. These fruits continue to ripen after harvest as ethylene is released, accelerating the ripening process. Higher ethylene concentrations speed up ripening, leading to faster spoilage. For example, bananas ripen rapidly after harvest due to ethylene, and high ethylene levels during storage accelerate aging and spoilage. In contrast, non-climacteric fruits do not ripen significantly after harvest, 
and are less affected by ethylene. Examples of non-climacteric fruits include strawberries, grapes, and cherries. While ethylene still affects quality in non-climacteric fruits, it is not as pronounced as in climacteric fruits, and ethylene management is still necessary to maintain quality. To suppress the effects of ethylene, ethylene receptor inhibitors such as 1-meth, Ilsi-clopropene, 1-MCP, can be used. 1-MCP binds to ethylene receptors with a higher affinity than ethylene, blocking ethylene's effects. When the ethylene receptor is blocked, the expression of several genes activated by ethylene is suppressed. These genes are related to processes such as cell wall degradation, chlorophyll breakdown, and the degradation of phytochemicals during the ripening process. 1-MCP binds to the ethylene receptor, inhibiting ethylene's effects and delaying the ripening and aging of climacteric fruits. For example, when avocados are exposed to ethylene, their quality deteriorates, but applying 1-MCP blocks the ethylene receptor, slowing the ripening and spoilage process, thus extending the storage life. This technology significantly extends the storage life of crops and helps maintain quality for longer periods. Since its registration with the US Environmental Protection Agency, EPA, in 2002, 1MCP has been widely used commercially worldwide, contributing greatly to extending the shelf life of agricultural products. Proper ethylene management is essential for both climacteric and non-climacteric crops, playing a crucial role in maintaining the freshness and quality of crops. Post-harvest pathology is the study of damage caused by various pathogens during crop storage. Since storage facilities are generally dark and humid, crops are vulnerable to diseases caused by fungi and bacteria. For example, citrus fruits are prone to spoilage due to molds such as Penicillium digitatum during storage. This mold forms green or blue spores on the surface of citrus fruits, causing quality loss during storage. Molds thrive in warm and humid environments, making proper management of the storage environment essential. Additionally, the use of various antifungal agents and ventilation systems can help prevent the growth of these pathogenic molds. In the case of melons, the yellow skin and the thin white epidermis are more susceptible to disease due to the lower wax concentration and thinner cuticle layer, especially in the white epidermis area. This indicates that the structural characteristics of plants play an important role in disease susceptibility. Therefore, in-depth research considering the structural characteristics and storage environment of horticultural crops is necessary to improve disease management and storage technology. Post-harvest entomology studies the damage caused by insects during storage and plays a crucial role in maintaining the quality of post-harvest crops. Insects not only cause direct damage to stored crops, but can also provide entry points for molds and bacteria. For instance, cases of caterpillars found in fresh vegetables like broccoli can lower consumer confidence and degrade the quality of agricultural products. Inadequate storage management or poor packaging can lead to increased insect damage. To prevent such problems, insect control measures are necessary and periodic pesticide applications, storage facility cleaning and packaging management should be implemented to minimize insect damage. In this lecture, we have examined how factors such as temperature, humidity, ethylene, and controlled atmosphere compositions affect the quality and storage life of crops. Technologies like 1MCP play a crucial role in delaying ripening and spoilage, and we have confirmed the importance of crop-specific management. In the upcoming class, we will learn how to use instruments like refractometers, penetrometers, colorimeters, and scales to measure post-harvest quality, and also cover the precautions for using them. Additionally, we will explore how to statistically process the data collected from these measuring tools.